Hey guys, I'm Missy Tolly, your psychic and medium in Ohio, and today we're going to talk about claircognizance. What is claircognizance? Well, it is the extrasensory ability to perceive psychic or emotional information without it being imperceptible, which means that you did not perceive that before the event or emotional um, situation occurred. So it's kind of like when you have that feeling or that thought of someone or something that's going to happen and it hasn't happened yet, but then when it does happen, you're like, whoa, is that deja vu? <laughs> so that's kind of what claircognizance is. It's basically your perception of this psychic energy where you didn't know something before it occurred, okay? And claircognizance is very similar to clairaudience, which is this extrasensory ability to hear without the physical ear. So it's psychic hearing. Claire audience and Claire cognizance, they go hand in hand together because sometimes we hear the thoughts that are coming in and sometimes we just know the thoughts without any other outer interference. So let's talk about the different ways that I would suggest that you can enhance these abilities. So the first thing I would tell you is journal. Journaling is so important because you're literally allowing the thoughts to come in and you're writing the thoughts down. Um, what I would suggest you do is kind of like maybe start out a journal like, okay, this was the crap that happened in my week. Good or bad, doesn't matter. Just write it down and ask your guides on paper like, what is, um, what is the guidance that I need for this week? And leave the question blank. Let your week occur and then go back to your journal and write down everything that kind of clicked for you or set deep within you that you connected with. So let's say you saw a sticker on the back of a car. Let's say you're at the um, gas station and you're hearing someone talking about um, angels or angel numbers or just about their day and how they got a raise or whatever. Maybe that's a signal or a sign from spirit and your loved ones and your angels uh, or your spirit guides to be able to say, hey, you've got some good fortune coming up. Um, I would kind of continuously write in your journal without thinking also. So let's say you can also call this automatic writing, but write for maybe five to 10 minutes and just write whatever it is that is coming to your mind, whether it's emotional, um, spiritual, anything at all. Just write it all down because it's going to help you, one, get rid of it, two, help you organize your thoughts, and three, it's going to help you slow down so you can actually hear the thoughts that are coming in. And sometimes what is going to happen is those thoughts or those premonitions or premonistic um, visuals or hearing the things that you're hearing will or possibly could come true. Now, I've had readings with clients in the past that have not what I told them didn't make sense in the moment and that was okay I even had a gentleman one time come back like five years later and say everything you said was exactly correct it just took him three years to actually have it happen and then he came back five years after his session just to thank me because had it not been for that reading he had with me he would not have understood the capacity of what that whole message was so journaling is a huge part of what I would recommend you do um, the second thing I would su suggest that you do is um, try to be observant. Um, watch the things that are going around you. For instance, I never watched um, the Loveless in Seattle or Love in Seattle or whatever the crap it was. I don't know. Whatever the Seattle movie is with Tom Hanks or whoever the actor was. I'm sorry. I don't know who they are. But I watched this movie and I'd never watched it before. And for the whole week, it was popping up on Netflix. I'm like, all right, Spear, I'm going to watch this stinking movie. I'm not a romance kind of person. I like crime and, and that stuff. But um I watched this movie, I don't know what it, if you know what it is, put the comment, and put it in the links, I'll have to figure it out later, brain fart, right? But um, what I would tell you is, I watched that movie, I didn't even get through the whole thing because it was so, uh, just, it was emotional, it was romantic, it was just not my cup of tea, okay? So, here's what I'm saying, the point is, is the next day, I did a reading with a client, and that movie kept playing in my mind like a memory, and I'm like asking her, like, does Seattle have anything to do with you, because I watched this movie, and I kid you not, she goes, I was offered a job in Seattle and I don't know if I take it. And I was like, you know, girl, I think you need to go. I think you need to take this. So let's fast forward to a year later. In her reading, I guess we'll go backtrack a little bit, but in her reading, I had said to her, I think you need to go. I think you're gonna find your love life there and like your home and family and all this stuff. So let's go back to the year later. She books a session and she tells me she found the love of her life. They are engaged, they live in Seattle and her job is going amazing. So even though it didn't make sense for either one of us at the time, I followed the cues from my spirit guides and I let my client know, hey, you should try this out. So be observant because sometimes the signals are not just for you, but they may be for someone else. So be observant. Um, all right, so uh, trick or tip number three is um, play guessing games. So um, because you're trying to figure out like what it is that you're trying to understand or perceive. So for instance, okay, so I have this tarot deck here. I don't know what anything is. I'm going to go ahead and pick a card here. Okay, I got my card. I don't know what it is. I'm going to go ahead. 
I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show it to you. Now, I uh, don't, I can't see it because the, the way the camera is, I, I can't see the card, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put it up to my head. And, and this is the guessing game, okay? I'm going to put it on my third eye. Um, and the one thing I kind of feel is, you know, I'm kind of just focusing all my energy on the card and I almost kind of get, get the sense of funny, playful, like let's kind of like just um, work together maybe. I don't know if there's like a playful kind of um, like situation. I'm just kind of giving you an example. I don't know if there's a lot of, um, I don't know if there's animal movements in here or if someone's trying to do anything that's like animal, animalistic or premonist, or not premonistic, but like animal, animalistic or primitive, like primal instincts. I don't know where that, that's kind of what I'm getting. So I'm going to look at the card. Okay, so there's no animals. Okay, so just so you guys are aware, this is, you know, the Five of Wands, as you can see it here. I don't know if you guys can see the camera. Let me do this, okay? Um, so, all right, so I see what I'm talking about. So when I say primal instincts or primal energy or animalistic, there's a lot of red, which would be the root chakra, which comes to primal instincts. But also, it's not necessarily um, camaraderie going on. It might be that they're being combative. It might be that they're working together and they're practicing something. Maybe they're practicing for war. Maybe they're just being... Um, playful, whatever it is. I just wanted to give you an example of like what this could be. So, um, interesting. So it, what the card literally says is competition, rivalry, conflict, disagreements, strife, and tension. Now on the other side, if you read the card reverse, it's avoiding conflict, respecting differences, um, agreeing to disfigure in diversity. Okay. So that's that card right there and you can see it. Okay. So I'm gonna put that card down. So basically that's what I'm talking about is kind of playing guessing games. So, um, you know, take an object. It doesn't matter what the object is. Take the object and see if, um, have someone else pick the object and they place it in your hand. This is also called um, psychometry or clairotangency where you're physically able to pull impressions, psychic impressions through your extrasensory ability to use touch as um, as the um, ability, I guess, or the psychic ability. So grab that object and pick up what you can feel or what you think is coming through. And sometimes you might get things that are past, present, or future. So, um, so one, journal. Two, be observant. Three, play a guessing game. And even try to guess the end of movies before they even occur and see if you're right or see what happens. What I would tell you is the Forever Family Foundation um, certifies all kinds of mediums. And so what I would tell you as a mediumship or psychic um, worker, I would tell you if you guess 10 things for one object or one scenario, put th 10 things down on your paper. If you get seven correct, you are on the path of that ability and you're, you're being able to evidentially prove that psychic impression. Okay. All right. So let's go to my tip number four. And I wrote down ground often, and this does come to that root chakra, that primal instinct, which is funny, being playful, being competitive. You know, you got to surrender. You got to fight for what it is that you believe in and you're a human sponge. So I, in my notes, I even wrote your human sponge. Um, it's time to clear out any unwanted energy. So in order to focus on your clear cognizance, you, all the things that you want to know. Now it's time to clear out the information that you don't need. So if you had an argument with somebody er, earlier in the day or someone made you upset or ticked you off, let that go. Just let it go. Let it, let all of it go. Just don't let that rule ruin your day or rule your day. That's super, super important. Um, Tip number five is always connect to mind, body, and soul. We are ethereal creatures in a fleshy body, which means we will hold a lot of that emotional, traumatic, um, psychic energy from other people. And so taking care of the mind, body, and soul is so, so important. Okay. Claire cognizance. Of course, you always want to have your intention, but if your intention is to focus on the mind, body, and soul and make sure you're eating healthy, exercising the best that way that you can, and really putting in your meditation and your journaling and putting in the practice, then your ability, this ability of Claire cognizance will enhance and you will see that firsthand. Claire cognizance is really an ability that you naturally have, that we all naturally have, but it comes from a place of knowing your worth. Do you know that you need so much, so many hours of sleep a day for clear cognizance or any clear ability or psychic ability or mediumship ability to really fully work and function? You're recharging yourself. So sleep is so important. It is so, it's like one of my favorite things, just saying. But as long as you're sleeping and as long as you're eating properly and you're taking care of the physical fleshy body, the mind, the spiritual self will take care of itself. So I'm Missy Tolly, your psychic medium, and I hope you enjoyed this Wednesday Wisdom Nugget.